basically we just send that weather balloon up and it's just one giant experiment with little experiments going on on the inside. We have a, a radio and GPS tracking system that works on ham radio frequencies. Then we have five student experiments. Each one's their own computer with their own sensors. We've got two temperatures in the cameras. We've got inside outside temperature. We're measuring radiation with a Geiger counter. And we're measuring a uh, sun angle around the craft. And then we're measuring, we're just experimenting with uh, infrared and ultraviolet photometers. The one that I worked on is actually reading uh, gamma radiation. Um, and it's kind of really complicated to explain. I don't know if I wanted to explain it or not, but. It plugs the students into a very good model of what a whole satellite program is about. When scientists want to build a satellite and launch it, it typically takes 10 years from inception to the time they launch it and all the integration and all that. We do that in two weeks. So they really get a good sense of all that collaborative integration, experimentation, success, failure that goes into a satellite program. This is the fun part. <laughs> Three, two, one, release. Go, go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every two seconds there's a high definition picture taken and then there's a video taken by a GoPro camera for the whole flight. So the, the balloon is typically rotating a little bit. We go through the, uh, the upper cloud deck, we go into the stratosphere, and then we go all the way up to 97,000 feet and we can see the curvature of the earth and the black of space. And that particular day the video was very cloudy. You see a lot of haze and a lot of clouds. You didn't see much land detail. At 97,000 feet the balloon will burst. And then the package instantly starts descending. Yes, of course I'm coming in that one. Come on, Gary, you gotta get in. After the balloon launch, we watch it drift away, and then we pack up our cars and we drive after it for two hours. Ours is a falling body, and it comes down without the aid of the parachute and lands at about 10 mile an hour impact speed. And landed just north of Lewiston, Maine, and we recovered it in a pretty thick raspberry patch. This was one of the best smart groups uh, I've ever worked with, and they all got in there and did great work, and, and uh, I hope they had a great time. Just putting it all together is just the best, and seeing it all work is like, you quote from the A-team, I love it when a plan comes together. That's basically what this is feeling like right now. <laughs>